So the sort of middle ground is things that you can do now, maybe that you couldn't really do before, but they're not like exciting things like AI. So one example of this is uh, that I think is a, is a great, it's just like a, well, there's a couple examples, but one that I really like is the uh, customizable select. So this is the select element that we're all used to. It's a drop down when you select uh, a username from a user list or a, a currency from a currency dropdown. We can now add HTML to these elements. So this is brand new. In the past, when you added a select element, it was just a select element. The operating system provided the UI for it. And if you wanted to do something fancier, like add icons, for example, to your dropdown, you needed to use a library like select two. Now that you can add HTML into select elements, which means you can put images right inside your select elements. So I have a bunch of demos of implementing that in, in WordPress, but you can just imagine anywhere that you have a dropdown, you can enhance it now, make it more graphically appealing and also make it better for users, right? So part of this is, is making the web better for users. If they, if they can have a dropdown, like a user list and it has the Gravatar icons next to each username, that's gonna make it, especially if you just recognize someone's Gravatar, it's gonna make it much easier for you to select the right user, right? So it's small. It's a small thing. It's something that the web really couldn't do before. Now we can do it. And I want people to know about it because if they don't know about it, they're never going to use it. So sure. that's definitely part of the talk is just sort of spreading the word here, are these new things. There's a lot of resources online to find out, like, I'm not going to go into great detail about each API. And there's a whole slew of APIs that I will not touch on. I'm just sort of picking and choosing the ones that I find most exciting. So there's a lot of follow-up study that developers can do to try to uh, to learn more. And, and like I said, I've, I've given some links uh, on the talk about how to keep up with this kind of stuff.